Hello, I am Dr. Srika, Consultant Pulmonologist, Critical Care and Sleep Medicine Specialist at Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills. COVID-19 and the lung, both are, you know, hardcore enemies. So COVID affects the lung in the maximal possible way. The damage can vary from very mild to involving less than 5% of the lung in a good 80 to 85% of the cases to a moderate level of damage and a very small percentage of people do end up with a severe damage. After the person recovers from COVID-19, depending on the severity of the illness, the patient can have an absolutely normal lung or a varying amount of lung damage which may manifest in the form of scarring or as we medically call as fibrosis. Fibrosis, this simply means that the normal lung tissue has been replaced by a scar which means the part of the lung which is fibrosed cannot carry out its regular activity of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Fibrosis is not new to the medical field. It has occurred after several pandemics or epidemics in the past as in after a H1, severe H1N1 pneumonia or after severe ARDS due to different causes. ARDS stands for Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. After the patient has recovered from these conditions, some amount of scarring does occur in the lung, but the recovery period is protracted or generally long. So in these diseases which I had mentioned like H1N1, the recovery period can take as long as six months to a year or a little longer. Most of them recover within this time frame and some of them progress indefinitely and end up with complete fibrosis of the lung. Now COVID has a varied spectrum. A few of them who have had a mild disease have recovered within a few weeks. Whereas those who have moderate amount of fibrosis are taking not less than a few months to recover back to their baseline function or a little lower than baseline function. However, recovery does not translate to reversal of the fibrosis in all cases. If we get a CT scan in these patients, we do find that some amount of the lung is still scarred. So instead of us focusing on reversing the damage which has already occurred, we generally focus on what we know as rehabilitation or pulmonary rehabilitation as we call it. And we also prescribe certain drugs which are called as antifibrotics to at least halt the progression of fibrosis in the patients so that they do not actually progress to end-stage fibrotic lung disease which causes complete dependency of the patient on oxygen support. So it is our responsibility to recognize fibrosis in a post-COVID patient, administer the antifibrotics which are still of questionable efficacy in the current scenario and to support him by means of pulmonary rehabilitation. Thank you.